And we're with Mandy with the Bridge City Chamber of Commerce. Thank you for taking some time out of your busy schedule to visit with us. Hey, thanks for having me. I'm so glad to be able to uh, talk with you. Okay, so for people who might not know you, give us a little bit of background about yourself. Yeah, I, uh, been, I'm born and raised here in the Golden Triangle, and I'm from Marysville. I went to LCM, graduated from there, and then my husband and I moved away about for about 20 years and then came back to be with family. And uh, so I have just loved it. I have two children, a 16-year-old daughter and a 13-year-old son, and both of them are in the Brid City ISD. And uh, we just love being being back in the area with our family and, and uh, serving our community. You know, a lot of people hear the words Chamber of Commerce a lot. You know, you see uh, Chamber of Commerce is doing this, Chamber of Commerce is doing that. But a lot of people don't exactly know what a Chamber of Commerce is and what a Chamber of Commerce does. So if you could uh, give us an idea of that. The Chamber is just a network of businesses that come together to help um, network together and to get to know other business owners and get their information out. A lot of it's as a business owner, success comes from word of mouth. And with the chamber, we're able to help with that and to bring, I guess, honor to the businesses that are a part of our membership. And uh, we only advertise members that are in our membership and because uh, we get to know them on uh, some kind of level in different events that we do. And uh, a lot of them are join in and want to participate. And, uh, the chamber just works together as a as a link to grow our community and help in our community, and uh, that's that's what the chamber does. It next works businesses together, and then all together we want to succeed in our city. Okay, and for the Bridge City Chamber of Commerce, for businesses out there that are watching, is the chamber just for Bridge City businesses, or can businesses outside of Bridge City join as well? Oh, yes. We have businesses from all over the Golden Triangle that's a part. We have some from Lake Charles and uh, some all around this area. Everybody's welcome because I, I feel like a lot of people outside of Brid, Brid City still service Brid City uh, community. So why not join? And then we can, you know, advertise for them so that if they're in Beaumont or if they're in Orange or if they're in Vider, and, and they need services from different businesses in those areas, we can help uh, direct them in that way if they had any questions towards a certain business. And they're, if they're in our membership, we can tell them, hey, these ads are great. They, they you know, work well and they're very community driven and, and just questions that some people may call and ask about. You're all the Bridge City Chamber of Commerce always seems to be doing something in the community. For instance, uh, I saw that you'll, you're planning a the Christmas parade for this year. You've got National Night Out coming up. So, uh, could you give us an idea of what some of the projects or some of the events that you have going on over the next few weeks? Yeah, even tomorrow we have a ribbon cutting for Sapphire Wings Boutique here in Bridge City. That everybody's welcome to come. It's at 9 a.m. and it's uh, right across from Market Basket, and it's uh, we'd love for everybody to come to that. Our um, we're having National Night Out on October the 4th from 6 to 8, and everyone is welcome to that. It's a free event, and it's to honor all the first responders for all that they do for us. And businesses will be set up out there, giving away promotional items and door prizes and food and. It's just a great time for the community to come out, enjoy a night of free, no, no charging at all on any, uh, any booth. They just get to come and eat and just bring their families, just a family night, a family fun night. So we would love everyone to come. And then uh, we have our networking coffees. It's always the second Tuesday of the month at 8 a.m. And it's at various locations. This next one is going to be at Granger um, um in orange and we'd love for everybody to come out to that that's on october the 11th for that and then our designer purse bingo as one of our fundraisers and we get a lot of people come in for that uh, that's november the 3rd at 6 p.m and we still have 14 tables available if anybody would like to purchase a table uh, or a ticket they're welcome to call up here at the chamber and we can get them set up for that and then our um, Christmas in the Park is a two-day event. It's 
December the 2nd and 3rd. And uh, the city and us are putting that on together. And they can call and and uh, get their, uh, we're going to have vendors there. And they can get a vendor spot if they want to sell some items or uh, things like that. They can come in and walk through. It's Friday night and Saturday. It's going to be a two-day event where everybody can just enjoy and, and get out and have fun in the, in the community as well. And then our Christmas parade is definitely on the 3rd at 6 p.m. And uh, we all start lining up and we get going about 6.30. It's just really fun. It's big, bright. It's, you know, with all the Christmas lights at night. It's so beautiful to watch all the uh, decorated floats and, and all that. So it's being fun. We'd love for everybody to come out for that as well. Hey, I got one more thing to add to it on the parade. Mm -hmm. um, it is a event that we are able to uh, link up with a ministerial alliance and oh, yeah. uh, all the toys that mm -hmm. every in the floats, every person on a float brings a toy and a brand new toy. And then we give those to the ministerial alliance and they distribute it to kids in need through the school systems. Uh, and so if anybody want to participate in that, that would be a great, a great help. They're welcome to drop toys off here at the chamber. And then we can make sure we give the toys over to the ministerial alliance. Okay. And, uh, as always, it's a pleasure to deal with the Chamber of Commerce. Uh, I know that all of the local chambers serve an important role in our community in growing it. And uh, Mandy, you're always welcome to come back on the show and talk about some of the things that the Chamber is working on. And we hope that means that you'll be coming back soon. Yes, thank you so much. I'd love to. It was an honor to be here today with you.